what I want to achieve. I wanted to get out of this thing healthy tonight, and we did. Uh, this was the kind of the last uh, game type atmosphere. I love seeing our season ticket holders out here tonight. We invited them, and then we invited uh, some students, and uh, um, it was a great atmosphere. Kind of created a little bit more of a game atmosphere because not just being empty with no one in here. Uh, but it, you know, I wanted to create that a little bit, and then uh, uh, obviously it was uh, you know just a, it was a lot of uh, very little um, uh, mixed with twos and ones and twos and ones kind of a mixture of how we did it. Um, but I want to see them compete. I want to see them in front of the lights. We'll make sure we, you know we're, it's really clean. We were very clean as far as mental errors and things like that. And then um, uh, obviously evaluation. No, I think I think every day is an evaluation. Uh, you know, like I've said, I've said it a hundred times: is we have a starting quarterback, the guy behind him has to beat him out. So uh, that was every time we go out there on the field. Uh, you know, there's it's a competition, whether it's quarterback position, whatever position it is. Uh, we've got a lot of competition. Uh, I like our team. This marked the end of camp. Uh, that's the longest camp. Uh, you know, I think by an extra week than we've ever had, even though it's the same amount of practices. Uh, but it was by far the most physical. We, I mean, we ran more, we worked more. It was it was as grueling, as physical, as tough. And I think I think, I think it really gives me a lot of confidence because of how these guys have embraced, uh, you know, the 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 TTH. And I I, I really uh, I think we've made great progress. And uh, now we start working on. Uh, we got uh, tomorrow will be a regular Sunday for us, and then Monday will be our day off, and then. Uh, it was time to evaluate this film, uh, and uh, then Tuesday we go to work. Uh, Tuesday's game week, so Tuesday's a Tuesday, and then Wednesday's Wednesday, Thursday Thursday, and then we'll whatever that works out after that. We'll I think Saturday's a Tuesday or something like that. Well, something like that. I don't know. I don't have to. We have a starting quarterback. If there's going to be a change, I will make an announcement. Other than that, uh, we'll we'll progress as we're going. It's got to eliminate, you know, I wanted to clean up, you know, the, the the biggest thing going in week one is don't do things to beat yourself. Ball security, taking care of the football, no negatives, no zero defects in your fundamental technique. Uh, obviously penalties and things like that is pretty clean. So, you know, uh, uh, we did a lot of, uh, and there were a lot of people going. I mean, there was a lot, everybody on the team rep tonight. So, um um, you know, that's what I was looking for. And mainly, mainly when we go back and evaluate is, is evaluating who's going to be in that. You know, how many linemen? Is, that, who's, is it going to be three guards or is it going to be four guards? Is it going to be three tackles or four tackles? Uh, two centers or three centers? That we actually – because we only rep so many people, right? And um, uh, uh, same thing on the defense line. Who's in the rotation and who's, who will be, you know uh, – you know, going to scout and all that, and all those jobs are important. And uh, but we just don't have time now. now we got to go to work. We got to get ready for New Mexico State. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's. Uh, you know, I think we have uh, in, in in a lot of areas on the lines. Both lines are are pretty veteran groups. Uh, linebackers are a veteran group. Um, you know, I you know. Um, Secondary, we've got uh, uh, really junior college guys or junior college transfer guys that are in there. So that, that, that's the youngest bunch as far as experience. Um, so there's a chance for guys there to get to get into too deep to play. Um, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't really see. Uh, I don't see a whole bunch of them. It's probably be the least amount right now. But I ain't looked at this film. I got to look at this film. Yeah, I think I think Coach Bennett. Uh, I think one of the things that's helped us tremendously is 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 there's a lot of similarities. But I just think uh, that my big thing was I knew what we needed. We needed a leader. Uh, you know, uh, I was able to do that in you know, 12, 13, 14, and and obviously started to struggle a little bit in 15, and just fo to be able to have a focus. And Phil's just got a focus. I can guarantee our defense gonna play hard. Because they got a hard coach. He's he's tough, and 
And I think what's really helped them is the, is the similarities of, of there's not a lot of uh, change. Except getting better, eliminating the, the, the stuff that we get back to where we used to be. I don't have any concerns. Waking up in the morning. What you got? Anything else? Uh, you know, I tell you, Doug, one of the things that's tough nowadays is is being you only tackle to the ground one day a week. Um, man, I mean, I watch. Matter of fact, I watch our. You know, we got got a bunch of guys playing in the league, so I watched uh, and uh, seen. Oh, uh, my man Jalen Strong score a touchdown today. I enjoyed that. Uh, but watching our guys play in a lot of the preseason games and things like that. I mean, even last year, some of the things, even the NFL, man, the tacklings, you know, it's, it, but you got to be able to work on it and teach it. So um, I think our tackling has is probably one of the things that improved the most. Uh, but two things expose you as a tackler. One, the guy that's carrying the ball, who is that? So uh, if you look out there and you watch when, like, Kalen has the ball at Tackle looks a little suspect, but, it, you know, I mean, he's pretty good. So, uh, I think our tackling's gotten better. I think our guys have worked hard at it. I think we have had one physical, hard-nosed, tough camp. And I think we've gotten better at that. Uh, even though, you know, uh, I know tackling the ground sounds like a bad thing, but it's really not. You know, teaching kids how to play the game safely, you have it is a contact sport, so it's important to contact and teach them the proper ways, keep the head out of it, you know, keep their eyes up, all that good stuff. It's gotten better. I think the defense has been, uh, you know, your typical things. Uh, but we've been, with the ones, we've been averaging around three penalties in a, you know, three to four penalties, offense and defense combined in the in the in these scrimmages and stuff. So that's about what we do during a game. About what we used to do during a game. You get, need to get back to that. Someone on the two. I tell you, Darby stood out. Darby had a couple of big balls, man. He's he's a developing to a deep ball threat guy. I mean, he looked impressive today. I, I, he's got stuck out. Um, um, two's anybody? Tim? I think Tim Cassidy stuck out. He looked pretty good over Tim there. Cassidy.